Today we're going to be looking at Ben Johns and Federico Staxrude setting themselves up for an Ernie as the left side player while their opponent is trying to move through the transition zone. So we're going to see Ben Johns taking this fourth shot out of the air in the middle of the court. And this is kind of the starting point to earn yourself an Ernie. This player is going to be first and foremost concerned with you rolling the ball down the middle of the court. And because of that, you're holding them um, down that middle and you can now try and get a ball deep to their forehand side. And if you do that, they're going to be a little late to the ball and have to play it into this area where you can now go for an Ernie attempt. And so we'll see that's exactly what Ben does. He gets a really good deep return here. And here's an important part of this. And when you look at Ben, he's not yet committing to the Ernie and trying to run around the kitchen to get into position. He's waiting to see uh, what Vivim David does with the ball. And you can see she does put it where he's hoping, and now the ball's about halfway there, and he's just now starting to actually commit to the Ernie. So you don't want to do it too early. You do have time. And here's another important part of this shot. A lot of players are going to try and roll it right back down the line to this player, but now you've moved way out of position and you run the risk of them actually getting a good paddle on the ball and putting the ball where you should have been. And so I like that he attacks Vivian David's left foot here. It's just a really difficult spot for that player and to get any sort of offensive shot off of your Ernie attempt. And that is the commentary version we're in right now after that last one. Uh, that's a great jump. So this time the four shot is coming off of a block from a drive, but Federico blocks it down the left sideline. Once again, Catherine Printo's first responsibility was a ball down the middle. And because of that, Federico was able to get the ball deep to her forehand. So she's going to be slightly late and have to play it into this area where Federico can now earn it. And we'll see she's making contact with the ball, but he's not yet fully committed. He first sees the ball, then reacts. And I want you to see the placement once again, targeting this player's left side foot because it's just really difficult for them to get anything back. And once again, it is a winner. As always, thank you for watching this video. If you want to support this channel, please consider liking or commenting on this video and subscribing. Happy pickling.